Imagine yourself being the recipient, being on the other side of who you are as a person. Imagine yourself being the recipient of your words, your behaviors, your looks, your values, your beliefs. Imagine yourself if you were the recipient of everything that you say and do in a given day, a given week, a given month. Imagine that. What would that be like? You know, and at first, when I started thinking about this, I was going, yeah, that would be cool. I I could do that. I could be I could be comfortable with uh, imagining myself being the recipient of me. And then I started thinking. Then I started becoming real and honest about the times that it wouldn't be so cool. That there are times when I'm not very compassionate and I'm not very caring and I'm not very loving and I'm not very sensitive. And there are times that I fail to pay attention. There are times that I fail to value uh, opinions and, and, and words and phrases and people. And then I thought to myself, wow, that really wouldn't be a very cool time to be me or to receive me as a person. Not so much to be me, but to receive me. Think about this. For the most part, and you, there's a bunch of you guys out there that I think that probably every single day it would be okay for you to imagine yourself being the recipient of your behavior because you're compassionate, you're consistently compassionate, consistently kind, routinely caring and empathic. Um, you rarely, if ever, roll your eyes at someone. Uh, but there are times, think about this, there are times that we roll our eyes or we glare or we become impatient and our body language says so. There are times that we say things that we wish we could take back. There are times that we withhold things we wish we would have done. So my challenge today is not to to ask you to beat yourself up or to um, castigate yourself or to get down on who you are or to focus on all the negative things that you might say or do My challenge for all of us, for me, beginning with me, I'm at the top of the list on this, is to ask myself, Mark, imagine, imagine yourself being the recipient of you. Imagine yourself, Mark, being the recipient of of your words, your beliefs, your ideas, your behaviors, your gestures. How would you feel? How would you feel consistently? Would there be times that you would be disappointed and hurt and confused? Would there be times that you would be uplifted and, and understood and cared for and valued? I have a feeling that, that would all, the, all of those would be true. But as I thought about this, I became very, really, really aware and committed to being more mindful of what I say, the way I say it, the way I look at people, the way I allow my exasperation and my frustration and my impatience to come out from time to time. I've decided to be more mindful of those things and work really, really hard, work stronger to be a better person, to be a better listener, to be a better a better giver, uh, a, a better encourager. Because sometimes, honestly, it would not be so good to be on the receiving end of who I am as a person. So I want to be better for myself, but for everybody around me. Imagine yourself being the recipient of you. What would that be like? And if for the most part it's good, congratulate yourself. Hug yourself. Give yourself credit. If there are some places that perhaps you need to work, and I know there are some places I need to work. If if there are some places you need to work, find, find a way to start doing that and just work to be more mindful that You are an influencer of people in everything that you say and do. And I think perhaps the best way to to plug into that is to imagine yourself being the recipient of you. Let's be better people. Let's be better us.